So recently I decided I needed a bigger hard drive in my JBOD, which is just a bunch of disks enclosure. It's just a bunch of disks. There's no RAID, none of that stuff. It's where I store all of my stuff. And while it's not the perfect system, it's worked fairly well for me. But I needed a bigger drive for my movies and TV shows because that collection has been expanding as of late. So I bought the drive on serverpartsdeals.com, which is a great site for that. I'll leave a link for it below. There's no affiliate or sponsors, whatever. It's just a good site. And got, got it in there and it was great. But I needed to transfer three or four or five terabytes of stuff to that new drive. And if you've ever tried to do that kind of stuff over a network share, you'll know that it can be kind of iffy. Now, usually I just plop it into Tmux. That way, if the, the SSH connection breaks, I can at least resume and stuff. And I did that this time as well. But I made a huge miscalculation with this because I just used regular CP. Now, CP is fantastic for small files. But the biggest problem with CP is that it just does not have the ability to tell you how far along it is. Now, there is a verbose flag for CP. I'll show that here in B-roll. And that will list out what it's done and what it's doing. But there's a better way. And this is a pro tip. This isn't going to be a very long video because there's not much to say. The idea here is that I for whatever reason, was under the stupid assumption, and I knew differently, by the way, that rsync was for backing things up, right? But really, rsync is just fancy CP. That's really all that it is. And if you think about it like that, you can use it for so much more. So what I did after I you know, figured this out was that I just used rsync to copy these much larger files to the new drive where they needed to go. And one of the benefits of rsync over CP is that not only does it have much more verbose in terms of output and telling you where it is, but it also gives you a time frame for each file. So it tells you how much time is available. And because of the way that it works, it just kind of gives you more of a sense that it's actually working. CP, even with the verbose flag sometimes, allows it, it keeps you from really knowing that it's still working. And if you forget the verbose flag, which I've done every time, basically, I've only just kind of learned that it even exists, if you just, you know, do cp-r file to file, it's just going to give you no output at all unless it fails. And you have no way of knowing if it's still working or not. So for me, when it's going to take like, two days to transfer some amount of files over, you know, a network connection or whatever it is, and it's just sitting there looking like it's not working, that's a big deal. Because if it's not actually working, I need to know about it. So rsync allows you to have a lot more information on what it's doing. Now, is it more complicated? Yes. Now, basically, the best way to do this is the command rsync-av, then dash dash progress. And then you just give it the path to the file or directory you want to copy and the path or file to the destination. That's basically what you do. You guys will see that in the B-roll here of me doing this for just a small file. It'll be over very, like, very quickly, but the idea is the same. No matter what you want to do, you use rsync. And it, does, it can be on the same drive even. It doesn't have to be a different drive. It doesn't have to be a network share, none of it. rsync works everywhere and it gives you that awesome progress bar, basically, as it copies things. It's amazing. It's so much better than the verbose flag for CP. And it's way, 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 way better than using CP without the verbose flag. So that's the end of this video. I don't have much more to say about this, but just pro tip, use rsync instead of CP, especially for big files, because it's just so much better. So there you go. If you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow, follow me on Mastodon. That link will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. There you'll find a weekly exclusive podcast. Basically, that's just me sitting in front of this microphone for a little while, talking about random things. Some of them are Linux. Some of them are not Linux, just whatever happens to be on my mind. It's unedited and just kind of rambly. So if you're interested in my rambles and you want a little bit more of it, head on over to Patreon or hit the join button here on YouTube. You can also go over to the store, which is available at shop.delinuxcast.org. There you'll find hats, t-shirts, backpacks, all sorts of stuff. All the proceeds for that go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. So thank you so very much for 
your support. Thanks, everybody who does support me on B Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. I don't know why I'm having a hard time talking all of a sudden. It just happens. Anyways, thanks to all you guys for supporting me. I truly do appreciate it. Without you, the channel just would not be anywhere near, we're near where it is right now. So thank you so very much for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.